What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another fun little video where in this one, what we're gonna do is create a franchise mode. I'm thinking probably using the New York Islanders, but what we are going to do is see if we made a team comprised of nothing but defensemen, could we in fact make the Stanley Cup playoffs? So I have gone in, I have put on the most active roster, and now I'm going to go through in player movement and move a bunch of forwards off this team and swap them out with, like, one defenseman from, like, a bunch of different teams. So, if you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button. And then this one, I've already explained what we're going to do, so let's just do that. Let's go to player movement, and we are going to move a whole crap load of folks to the, where are we, New York Islanders where it's already a defense-heavy team, so that's why I decided to go with that team. So first, we are going to move Bo Horvat. Now let's go through the defensemen. What do they have? J.J. Moser, he could be fun. Who else do we got? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm basically looking for, like, a uh, team's best defenseman. Whoops. Let's go to the Boston Bruins, where they got Chuck McAvoy. You know what? I think um, I think we're going to go with Hampy McWampy, and that's going to be our first change. So next, we're going to do Matty Barzal. I know, you guys, I know, but I got to get my guy Razzy Dahlin. Razzy Dahlin for Matty Barzal, who is our next best forward. It's Brock Nelson. I would never take more than one defenseman from a team because I think that's just silly. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's go to Chicago, uh, or Carolina, sorry. <laughs> it's very early in the morning, and I'm going to go for my guy, Brent Burns. Brent Burns for Brock Nelson. I think we're looking pretty solid here already defensively. We have got Anders Lee, who is going to be, whoops, moving on for, hmm, let's go for a depth a depth guy. Let's go. Let's let's try and find like a fourth liner. Let's get not not Nikita Zaitsev. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. What about Ian Mitchell? There you go. Let's let's take a look at him. What is his contract? He's only twenty three years old. Yeah, he could be a good like he could be a good like fourth line guy. So there you go. Because that we do need those. We do need those. So far, we've got a whole pant load of not that <laughs> and I'm not gonna take Kale McCarr out of Colorado because that would just be awful let's see who do we want what about a nice let's go let's go for a nice like second line guy second line left winger 21 year old Bowen Byram look at this guy go to work kind of like a playmaker for JG Pajot so let's go to our next person which would be Wallstrom the Snipe, Columbus. What can we take from you? Not Bachvist. Let's go for. Let's go for Jake Bean, for Oliver Wallstrom. I know I'm not. I'm not exactly just taking like the best. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I'm not just taking like the best guy from every team. Uh, do they have anybody that I would want? Essa Lindell, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we got? Colin Miller. Nils Lundqvist. Let's go for a Yanni Hockenpah, who can be, again, a fourth liner. Potentially even a third liner. Why is Brent Burns the guy? What is happening? Was there anyone up here? No. Where's our next forward? I don't know. The screen went all messy on me. Here we go. So we'll do Josh Bailey for Yanni Hockenpah. Did that just say left wing up there again? Like, what is going on? I, th I feel like this thing's, like, jumping around on me. So we got Kyle Palmieri. And from Detroit, who would we want to take? From Detroit, I'm not taking Mo Sider. From Edmonton, I would take Evan Bouchard. Evan Bouchard from the Edmonton Oilers. Then we got Zach Parisi. Again, it went to Burns. Oh, man. Is this ever making me angry? Now let's move on to the Florida Panthers. Oh, Eck. It's got to be Aaron Eckblad, right? Although, Brandon Montour, they made him, like, crazy good. He's got 91 games played. <laughs> 40 points in 91 games. I don't know how he pulled it off. Oh, look at the shooting on him. His shooting's actually pretty decent for a defender. 
So you know what? I think we go Brandon Montour. There's another good like second line option right there. Yeah, okay. So this yeah, it's just a problem with it's it's a uh, it's just a problem with this menu. Okay. So we'll go to the LA Kings. I'm not taking Drew Doughty. Not taking Sean Dersey. We need like a good third liner. So let's go with You know what? Matt Roy. Got to love Matt Roy. There you go. And now let's let's go back up to the top. And then we'll scroll back to the bottom. So that's probably how we're going to have to do that. Sebastian Ajo. No, you know what? The actual defenseman on this team, I think I'll just leave where they are. Uh, from the Minnesota Wild, do we want to grab like a Matty Dumba? Matt Dumba? No. We need more depth guys. Yet again, we need more depth guys. Kalen Addison. Yeah, he's kind of on the chopping block when it comes to uh, <laughs> the New York Islanders anyway. So let's go Cal Clutterbuck, a grinder from Montreal. We could take, who could we take? Hmm. We need, we need, we do need uh, a couple of like cheaper options as well. Oh, Arbor Jack Eye. Yeah, Arbor Jack Eye's my guy. There you go. Fourth liner. <laughs> okay, we got to be running out of uh, forwards. We got, what, four forwards left. There you go. Johnson. Or no, it's not Johnson next. It's Matt Martin. To Smashville, potentially for... Hmm. Who would we want to use? Carrier? We'll grab Carrier. He could be a third liner. He could be a fourth liner. Yeah, you know, he could, he could do a little bit of anything. All right, now we'll go with Johnson. Johnston, sorry. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh you know, we need a we need a little bit of actual defense. <laughs> so down in that bottom six is gonna be defense heavy, man. It's gonna be Jonas Siegenthaler or Johnson. And now we're gonna pick up uh some scrubs here. We're gonna pick up some we're gonna pick up some guys that are uh you, you, you know, fringe Fringe dudes. We'll go to the Rangers. We'll see what they got down near the bottom here. They go Mikola. They got Ben Harper. You know what? Screw it. I'll take Harper. Why not? <laughs> There's a couple of dudes way down at the bottom here that are like, you know, 74 overall. So I'll take I'll take one or two of those guys as well. Again, we're getting down towards the bottom. There are zero defensemen down here. Who do they got? They got Travis Hamanick. One of the most beloved, hated people in the universe. Beloved and hated. Nobody from Ottawa. We don't need nobody from Ottawa. What about Philadelphia? I don't think we're taking Busta. Uh, what else can we grab? Who's who's like, a, they, don't, they don't really have much in the way of like third line options, but third or fourth line options, I mean. But we could get Sealer in exchange for Fashing. And then I think we got, what, one more guy to go? And then we've got our defense team. It is Otto Koivula, who I have on my own uh, personal franchise mode. He is one of my fourth liners and a penalty killer, and I like him a whole awful lot. What do we got? Uh, Dumoulin, no. What else do we got? Yan Ruda, Dmitry Kulikov. Hmm. A lot of defensive defensemen here. But let's go with uh, a veteran presence here in Chad Ruedel. And that, my friends is our entire team. So, yeah, so we go authentic, right? That is correct, I believe. Select mode, enter GM name. We will call this one, instead of DMAC, D-MEN. There you go. Just so I know which one it is and we can, <laughs> I can find it to get rid of it afterwards. Total team budget. Player salary budget, $67 million. Yeah. So it, uh, does it tell me what our actual cap hit is right now? We don't need a division realignment. We are fine right where we are in the Metropolitan Division. Owner mode off. Uh, GM firing off. Salary cap on. Fog of war off. Player morale off. Head coach at its lines off. So CPU trades. We'll al we will allow that to happen. So let's, <laughs> let's go for it. Now, if there is any rhyme or reason, so if there was any rhyme or reason to this whatsoever, the coaching staff for the New York Islanders would be a very defense-heavy one, 
rules and settings. I don't think I have to do that, right? It said Darlene. So, yeah, I, got, I have all my defensemen on this team. So we're going to say start career, keep cap on. I have no idea if I'm 8 billion miles over the cap or not, but we're about to find out. All right, so Rasmus Dahlin is the best player on this team. It is September 17th, 2022. The head coach can help, but I don't want him to. So what we're going to do... Oh, if I go no... <laughs> I thought if I went, like, no lines, I could just build it myself. All right, so Jacki, yes, that is where I want him. We are going to have... Oh, baby, we are going to have Hampus Lindholm as that number one center. <laughs> Brent Burns as the number one right winger. And we are going to have Mr. Rasmus Dahlin as our, our big guy up top here. So this is what our forward group looks like. Razzie Dahlin, Hampus Lindholm, and Brent Burns. Noah Dobson, Brandon Montour, and Bowen Byram. Jake Bean, Kalen Addison, Evan Bouchard. Then we're going to have Ian Mitchell, Alex Carrier, and Arbor Jackeye. So on defense, we are going to have Ryan Pollock, and we are going to have Adam Pellick on that second pairing. Did I put Siegenthaler out there? Did I put him out there? I didn't. Okay, so you know what then? We're going to use uh, Jonas Siegenthaler. Who else do we got? I guess Scott Mayfield. I don't think I used Mayfield uh, up top, right? No, I didn't. Okay, perfect. And then down below, we will have Sebastian Ajo. <laughs> and Matt Roy, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do it that way. Matt Roy. There you go. Right D. Two-way defender. I like it a whole awful lot. This team's kind of gross. Now, do we have anyone scratched? We have Witherspoon, Sealer, and Noah, Do Noah Dobson is scratched? Wait a moment. Why did all my lines show? Oh, Matt Roy, Jesus. All right, okay, so I got to... Oh, man. What do I do here? Options. Okay, so I got to scratch him in order to make that work. Man, this game comes with so many setbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Dobson, then we have to go back to defense, and then we find Matt Roy, because this game is terrible. Oh, my God. So the power play, I like that. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. Penalty kill? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm fi I'm pretty much fine with all of this. <laughs> so all of our scratch guys, uh, it doesn't matter. They're not going to play anyway, so... <laughs> Whatever's clever, man. So I'm going to jump into the settings very quickly, turn off the injuries so we don't have to stop a hundred times due to injuries, and then we are just going to get to simulating through the season to see what the H happens here. So very quickly, like I said, going to jump into the settings, turn off the injuries, and we're going to see what this team can do. So we go into rules, injuries off. There you go. Period length, three minutes. None of that matters because it's going to be all simulation. What I do want to see, though... Okay, great. Fantastic. Is... I'm not actually going to jump into this game. I just want to see what our numbers look like. 88 offense, 92 defense, 93 goaltending. So that... You know what? That's a playoff team if I ever saw one. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate to, hmm, let's simulate to November 30th, and let's see how we do. No, I don't want to make any trades. Uh, okay, so we're doing a hell of a lot better than I thought we were going to be. <laughs> so we're 13-9-2 in our first 24 games of the season. <laughs> Who's leading the parade? Razzie Dahlin, baby, with 17 points in 24 games. And the funny thing is, we're actually, yeah, we're, we're just coming off of two straight losses. So a couple of days ago, we were 13-7-2. I was like, holy crap, this team's like decent. What is happening? So Razzie Dahlin leading the parade. 
behind Brandon Montour, who apparently is finding out that he is a sniper. We also got Brent Burns with 15 points. So that top line, actually it's Hampus Lindholm who's the top line center. Bo Byram's doing it. He's getting her done. Everybody seems to be, it's a score by committee kind of team until you hit the actual defensemen who are not really doing much of anything. But, I mean, as soon as you hit, like, the top half of this team, most of them are pluses. And a shocker, Kalen Addison is a plus eight on the season. How is our goaltending looking? Ilya Sorokin! He's got a 941! (laughs) And a 1.71 goals against average. That is absurd. Over 18 games. Those are fantastic numbers. Oh, my God. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, This time, we are going to get to, you know what, let's get to, like, let's get to the trade deadline. Let's just see how we do. All right, so with 18 games to go in the regular season, man, did we ever have a nasty stretch in there, like in, uh, what was it, was it in February? No, actually wasn't in February, it was in January, I think. Yeah, okay, so we got... Uh, one, two, three, four losses in a row. We got one win, then we got a loss, then we got a win, and then we got four losses in a row, a win, two losses in a row, a win, two losses in a row, and then went on a three-game winning streak and a shootout loss. So it's like, as we approached the trade deadline, that's when all of a sudden it just started falling apart. Through the whole thing, we were doing really, really good, but we're still we're only four points out of a playoff spot right now, that which is kind of alarming. Okay, where are we? Yeah, we're in the metro. All right. Yeah, we're literally four points out of a damn playoff spot. <laughs> so all we have to do, the only problem is we've played more than anybody else. And it's like the the hurricanes, what am I doing? The hurricanes are ahead of us by one point, and they've played five less games, which makes things a lot more difficult. But let's check and see how everybody's doing. Where Razzie Dahlin still leading the parade. But Brent Burns with 23 goals on the season. Hampus Lindholm has 42. Brandon Montour with 40 points. Byram with 32. Pollock with 25. He's actually the uh, number one actual defenseman on this team. And still, it's like everybody's looking relatively solid until you hit like Siegenthaler, Roy, all those guys. Arbor Jack, you don't expect a ton of offense out of him. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the goaltending, where, wow, it's still actually pretty solid. Where Ilya Sorokin, in 50 games played, is 23-24-2 with five shutouts, a 919 save percentage, and a 2.48 goals against average. So, the problem is, this team doesn't score a lot of goals, right? But we're at the trade deadline. What do you think? Should we make a trade? Get Eric Carlson? <laughs> Oh, try try and up our goal scoring. Go get like an Eric Carlson just for one big push. Varley even is a backup. Seven, six, and two. Four shutouts in 15 games played. He's got a 9-12 and a 2.72. So the goaltending is absolutely fantastic. The defense on this team is fantastic. We just can't score. That was a joke, by the way. I'm not actually going to go and get Eric Carlson. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I do have to simulate up to this point. And here's another problem. When you have a team of nothing but defensemen, you get trade offers like every day. Like every single day. You're just getting trade. You just just trade offers forever. So we're going to continue simming. I think I... No, it's still loading the trade deadline. There you go. It's over. All right. We'll get into April. Let's see. Are we going to make the playoffs? We're not that far out. So we kind of turned things around in the final, what was it, 18 games of the season. We went like 9-6-4 and four or something, whatever it would be, 9-6-3 and three in the final 18 games of the season. We finished 39-36-7. I want to see how far out of the playoffs we ended up. So where is the wild card, which was 88 points. We were four points out of the playoffs. <laughs> And not even every team is done, so that might even be worse. All right, so, I mean, the Capitals had 90 points. They were five points ahead of us. So, actually, no, we were way more than that outside, weren't we? Oh, the Canadians made Yeah, the Habs made it in with 90 points, and the Capitals had 90 points. But that's so weird because the, the Habs had one less win. The, the Capitals had 41 wins. The Habs had 40, but somehow the Habs got in. 
So that's like that makes no sense at all to me. Isn't it like the or does it go by points percentage? Maybe they had a higher points percentage. Maybe that's it. Anyway, the leaders on this team was Mr. Rasmus Dahlin with a 73-point season. Brent Burns officially a 30-goal scorer at 38 years old with 72 points. 60 points for Monty. 52 for Hampy Wampy. 51 for Mr. Bowen Byram. Jake Bean with a solid 40. Boosh with 35. Dobson with 34. Pollock with 34. Carrier with 30. Addison with 28. Pellick with 23. Romanov with 20. Yeah, and then you go down the lineup. The lowest guy was Arbor Jackai. Arbor Jackai having 10 points, including six goals. He was a minus 17. Romanov, minus 20. You hate to see it. But I want to check out the goalies who in six... Wow, Sorokin played every game down the stretch. 32, 30, and 5 in 68 games played, where he had eight shutouts, a 914 save percentage, and a 2.57 goals against average, where Varlamov had a 7, 6, and 2 with a 912 and a 2.72. Not any goalie pulling going on because we don't allow goals. We just don't score them. But we were in a playoff spot for a fair chunk of this season, and we almost got back in one a couple of times. And we finished, oh, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. <laughs> I accidentally hit advanced day. But we did finish above 500. And if it wasn't for that, like, month and a half where we just kind of fell off, it's like win one, lose three, win two, lose four, win three, lose five kind of thing. If that, if we could have, like, held on and that would not have happened, I feel like we actually would have made the playoffs. Like, I feel like this was a lot closer than it should have been. And this might actually be something. Because this was a lot of fun. This might actually be something that I wouldn't mind trying again, like, in the future with a different team. What's a, like, write down in the comments if you've made it this far. What is another team that is, like, super defense heavy? Like, the Islanders are the ones that are, like, synonymous with being a defense first kind of team, right? A team that just, like, does not allow goals. What would the other one be? Like, Carolina, right? Like, Carolina, isn't that one of those, like, defense-heavy teams? They, they always get really good goaltending. They don't allow a lot of goals, you know? Maybe that would be another one to think about. I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time thinking about them because of the clock change this morning and the fact that even though it is, like, quarter to nine in the morning, it's, like, quarter to eight in the morning... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun just seeing how the team would do. And when we got off to that super hot start, I was like, okay, I'm getting excited now. I'm getting excited because, like, this might actually happen here. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.